Hi all, and welcome to Parker's Reefs. In today's episode, we're going to visit Eric and the team at Reef River and Reptile, which has just been rebranded to ARC Aquariums. All right, here we are on the uh, Reef Revolution Tour. We couldn't help but stop in at the Reef River and Reptile. And like I mentioned, they're just going through a rebrand into uh, ARC Aquariums. Now, one of the first things you notice when you walk in the store, and you know me, I'm not a freshwater guy, but this cichlid tank is off the charts. There is so much color and movement in there. It um, absolutely blows my mind. And uh, it's, to be honest, to me, it looks like a fairly basic tank, but it looks exactly like the sort of thing that you'd want to have at the start of a shop just to show people why they're at one of the best aquarium stores in Australia. Now you can see this banner here which has got the A R cubed sea aquariums which stands for Australian Reef River Rainforest Conservations. Now it's a big rebrand for the guys um, and it, it absolutely embodies a lot of their uh, thoughts and uh, decisions on the way they're going in the future and um, when I was talking to Eric in story he was saying that uh, they're toying around with one of the slogans, slogans to say uh, saving the uh, reef one frag at a time, but that's sort of a little bit focused on the uh, reef part of the uh, reef, river, and reptile. So um, we're just giving a bit of a quick pan over some of the uh, freshwater items here. This area of the store is in a little bit of progress at the moment. Eric tells me there's some uh, big things coming there, so uh, they're just kind of uh, playing a little bit of Tetris and moving some things around. We have a quick look at this uh, soft coral tank here, which is um, really cool. It's got some really basic corals in there, but it's exactly what uh, people look for when they're getting into reefing. And uh, just a quick little look at this arowana here. What a beast of a fish. Just the um, attitude on his face is uh, something else. And you know me, like I said, I'm not a freshwater guy, but uh, that guy is more like a dog than a fish. He's just um, a member of the family. And another freshwater tank, uh, this one with a really cool plant growing up out of the water, and uh, it's lit by, it looks like, uh, AI hydras. It's something that uh, the team here do really well, these uh, scaped or planted tanks that have the plants growing up out of the water. They look really cool. You see one coming along there, which has got uh, some tree roots there. It's obviously still dry, but it's to um, be filled soon. There's a range of freshwater plants there, and here's another one, this time lit by uh, the Kessel 360X series of lights. And it just makes the, um, to me, it just makes an aquarium a bit more of a piece of furniture because you've just got things growing out and beyond the glass box, which um, is really cool. Now, I know another freshwater thing, but uh, I'm not allowed to have koi in uh, Victoria, so whenever I see koi in a shop, I get totally excited. So um, a quick look at the koi there, and um, we've got some freshwater fish, which I'll uh, pan past pretty quickly here because um, they're not saltwater fish and they're not koi, so uh, they've lost my interest. All right, let's uh, get over to where the action is, and that's the uh, frag tanks. Well, I say frag tanks, they're coral tanks, but uh, probably 90% of the coral in this store is all aquacultured. Um, the team does not get a lot of uh, wild colonies in. They basically get corals that they then frag out um, and then bring in and sell in store, which is just a really cool ethos to have. Or if they um, haven't fragged them themselves, they get corals that are aquacultured um, or maricultured by other people. Um, supplied so they've got a really cool sustainable vision and you saw the pricing there 90 percent of the store falls uh, for the corals falls into that price range where you can pick five uh, corals for 99 dollars australian which is just mind-boggling it used to be that the entire shop was that way and uh, thankfully someone took some uh, sense into eric and said uh, we need to have a, a few select pieces which are a little bit more premium price than that because you're losing too much money on the exotic stuff so they've still got a majority of things at that crazy price, but um, we've got uh, a few more premium pieces, I guess we'll call it. But this tank here is just unbelievable. We've got a bunch of uh, Allegans, Zolas, Leathers. Have a, another quick destruction by one of these freshwater tanks that are growing plants up out of the water. You see that one's growing five feet into the air. Um, it's something cool. We'll just have a quick look at the light on this tank. It's this huge uh, hydroponic grow light. All right, I promise no more distractions. Let's get back to the five corals for $99 or $25 each, which, um, yeah, it's just a yeah, amazing uh, pricing. You see the new rebranded sign there confirming that's still the price. Let's have a look in this tank. We've got uh, some more Zoas. We've got uh, some Leathers there. Uh, looks like we've got some Blastos, some pretty cool ones, a little uh, Hammerheads. Uh, we see some green star polyps. We can see um, some of the uh, frag or coral uh, holders that have been absolutely encapsulated. Another uh, ARC special. We got some uh, hammers there, some more leather frags. 
some really good entry level pieces which um to be honest in my opinion there's some nice uh, duncans in my opinion are probably overlooked a little bit too much in um, a lot of stores there's some cool candy canes uh, we seem to be focusing on the real high-end corals and uh, making it more and more difficult for people that are just trying to get into the hobby so really cool to see some nice beginner corals in there but if you're not a beginner you can swing over to these two tanks here and uh this one's just got an unbelievable collection of pieces. Uh, a lot of them grown in uh, Eric's tank at home. And uh, there, I don't know how many frags there would be in here, probably a few thousand. And uh, you could stare at this tank for, uh, well, you could be there all day because not only is there a lot of corals to look at, but Eric has an incredible story for almost every single piece here. When I pointed out a couple of pieces that I liked, he told me the story of how um, he saved the coral from uh, a guy that had a reef tank in his uh, shed out the back in Canberra 15 years ago and the roof was collapsing in um, and Eric bought the uh, colony off him and he's fragged it and since then it's been fragged probably 10-15 times so the generations are getting significantly more and more uh, aquacultured and that's just one example of a whole list of stories that uh, Eric can give you. Now <laughs> I don't want to get too caught up in the um, stories because otherwise uh, I'll be telling you about them all day and um, if you want to hear these stories I recommend you get in store because uh, Eric's got to be one of the most friendly guys going around and his uh, passion for the hobby is just second to none. So if you want to go in and chat to someone about reefing, you know where to go. But while we scroll past there, they were both sold. Check out that yellow hammer and that green torch. They are absolutely off the charts. And uh, you can see here on the uh, frag racks here, they have, uh, they're the more premium pieces that are priced separately. So they're not included in the $25 each or five uh, for uh, 99 these are some more premium pieces that uh, Eric's starting to do a bit of trading with. So these are from some uh, local reefers in Sydney where they uh, bring in some of their pieces and trade for some of uh, Eric's pieces here, which is a really cool arrangement. And these ones here, whilst they're on a uh, frag rack, they're not actually considered premium. They're cheaper. They're $10 each and this one's $20 each. Now, I picked out one of those $20 pieces because I thought they were really cool. Uh, looks like we got uh, some Lepto there. We've got some green pallies. We got uh, some cool zoas there. I went past them a bit quickly, I'm sorry. Uh, we got some more leptos there. Looks like we got some uh, Monty. So many corals here. There's some Crocodile Island Scullies, some Elegance. Too many. Um, I, I recognize I'm scrolling past this pretty quick, but it's just impossible to look at all these corals in uh, any sort of realistic time frame because there's thousands. And when we scroll over here, there's a whole nother tank of them. <laughs> so you can see why I had to move pretty quick because uh, this video is quite long already and I still feel like I'm not doing it justice. So consider this video a uh, quick sample and overview of some of the crazy stuff uh, that you just do not see anywhere else. These corals are not the same stuff that uh, other stores are getting from the same suppliers. This is stuff that's um, that Eric's had uh, grown in his tank and has aquacultured out over uh, many years. And... It, <laughs> If you're a bit of a coral connoisseur, like uh, many of us consider ourselves, I, I certainly consider myself one. I've never almost been more embarrassed in a store when I look at a piece and I go, Eric, tell me what species that is. I've never seen anything like that. What is that? Is that a branching this or a plating that? Because there's some unique pieces in here and it's just really cool to see. So uh, not only do I recommend getting in store and checking it out, but uh, making sure you've got plenty of time. Check out these scrollers here. They're, I know they're only green, but... Um, just the patterns on them are so intricate. It's uh, really cool to see. Now, I'm trying to keep uh, my camera moving away from uh, any of the ripples, but uh, I'm sort of panning around pretty quick, and I apologize, but I'm trying to cover as many of these corals as possible. Looks like we've got some cool parietes, I think, there. Um, what have we got hiding over here? There's a few other little treasures. You see some bits there that Eric's fragged in a slightly different manner. They're almost cut into strips. Um, they're trying some new things here, which is cool to see regarding uh, aquaculture and just getting these pieces encrusting and uh, growing in the coolest little mini colony shapes, which is, um, it's nice to see. They're not just generic frags. Now, as much as I'd like to say it's all about coral at uh, ARC Aquariums, it's not. They've got a big fish component here as well. And uh, we're just having a bit of a look at one of the phytoreactors here. They're um, supplying their own natural um, foods, which is really cool. Uh, they had a huge assortment of racin. We can see some uh, Aptasia eating uh, file fish here. We've got some uh, angels, a bunch of uh, dominoes, uh, sorry, damsels, not dominoes. Another big phytoreactor there. We've got some banner fish, some angels, some full-size angels. That is not dwarfs. You can see some uh, live rock tanks over there with some fish just keeping the bio load up. See uh, powder blue tang there. 
no shortage of fish. Um, despite the store being absolutely chock-a-block with uh, corals and fish and freshwater and reptiles, they've also got a huge assortment of dry goods. Um, probably one of the better fragging assortments that I've seen in any uh, store before. The range of uh, frag plugs that you can buy are loose. The, uh, you can buy them in packs, obviously, but also loose. Uh, you've got glues, you've got... Um, uh, tongs, cutters, frag carriers, glue guns. We've got these cool uh, coral obsession, I think it is, or building an obsession um, coral caddies. You can see a nice range of uh, clear effects resins there. Um, we've got some cool uh, overflows there, the in and out. You see the uh, magnetic frag racks there. Um, some nice assortment of uh, RO gears from uh, Pure Reef RO, I'm pretty sure it is. And we'll just scoot around the corner here. You see the stairs up there. Eric gave me very distinct instructions not to head up there because it's a project space at the moment and they're going to have something huge to announce there soon, something revolutionary. So you can rest assured that as soon as there is news that I'm able to share on that, you can guarantee that I will be back in Sydney making sure I get plenty of footage and I'm able to break that news with all of you viewers. But in the meantime, let's continue looking at the dry goods. Now you see we've got a range of dry foods here, but also some other really cool things like the uh, collapsible water carries. You can see the nice little dosing containers there that have got the little taps on them so you can store your liquid. Uh, so if you're making up Randy's recipe elk or something, you can store them in there and just pour out the amount you need. Huge range of dry goods here. And um, we're moving on to Dr. Tim's sea cam. You can see the quantum range here, some Red Sea. In fact, a lot of Red Sea here. We've got all their test kits and supplements. You can see all the lights here, the brand new Gaia's, the AI's, the uh, Ecotechs, the Primes. What else we got there? The Vectra pumps, Vortec pumps. Here's the full range of uh, Reef Pure RO things. Um, I should say RO systems. But I say things because we've got more than just the systems. We've got the fittings, we've got the bulkheads, we've got the hoses, we've got uh, the clips so the hoses don't come out of the fittings. Just just a huge range of things. Uh, you can see uh, mag float uh, scrapers as well as the uh, flippers. You see the full CO2 bottle ranges there for freshwater and also for uh, marine if you're using uh, calcium reactors. You can even see an aquarium Lego tank there some dry good ornaments, um, the list just goes on and on. We've got a, a range of heaters, of course. Oh man, I have to take a breath. <laughs> We've got uh, some poly filter, um, some Aqua One variants on the poly filter. Uh, we've got a range of pumps over here from Siche, from Aqua One, from Eheim. We've got all the tubing and hosing you could need. Um, you name it, the guys here have got it. And in fact, I, I probably am gonna start wrapping things up now because uh, we're starting to cover all those test kits and uh, uh, coral essentials, aqua forest, uh, sea cam, all sorts of things here. Now, I will wrap things up here because uh, we're, we're running pretty long in this video. And if you've made it this far, I really appreciate it. We'll just have another look at this softy tank while I wrap up. If you've enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a uh, thumbs up. If you've got any questions for Eric or uh, myself, be sure to pop it in the comments section down below. And as always, if you've enjoyed this video and you want to see some more on the uh, Reef Revolution uh, Sydney local fish shop tour, be sure to subscribe and uh, thanks for watching, guys.